Hey, good morning, friends. It's time for morning devotions. Thank you for joining me. I know that, you know, when we do these videos, you often, you might see us wear something with words on it, but it's backwards because we want to see ourselves. So we turn the phone towards us, which makes whatever we're wearing backwards. <clears throat> but this says Dream Team. You probably figured that out. HCAZ Dream Team is a shirt that our volunteers wear at Harvest, and that's the shirt that I'm wearing today. I want to talk to you out of Isaiah chapter 41, starting with verse 17. Isaiah 41, verse 17. Now, when you and I, we live here in the desert in Phoenix, and there are a lot of hiking trails in Phoenix, and it goes without exception that every year there are people who will go hiking and they will end up dying during their hiking or maybe shortly after their hiking because they don't prepare and they don't bring enough water or provision with them. Sometimes they get lost, but it's a sad thing to run out of water in the desert, isn't it? Let me read to you what the prophet Isaiah said in chapter 41. Now he's writing, of course, this is one of the prophets of Israel who is writing to Israel, but this is what he says starting in verse 17. It says, when the poor and the needy, okay, two categories, poor and needy, they search for water and there is none, and their tongues are parched from thirst, then I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will never abandon them. Verse 18 says, I will open up rivers for them on the high plateaus. I will give them fountains of water in the valleys. You know, sometimes I watch on television or you see somewhere where there's water coming off of a high plateau and you don't even see any snow up there. And it, it sort of confuses me to think, where does all of this water come from? When it's coming up off the top of this mountain and there is no snow up there, but yet there's this continuous waterfall that never stops falling. It's kind of amazing how God has created the earth. But this verse 18 says that God will open up rivers on the high plateau. And then it says, I'll give them fountains of water in the valley. So whether we find ourselves feeling like we're on a high plateau and happy and excited today, or maybe we're in a valley. God's saying that I have provision for you, for his people Israel, which also now includes Gentiles like you and I. His provision is ready for us. It says, I will fill the desert with pools of water. Rivers fed by springs will flow across the parched ground. Verse 19, I will plant trees in the barren desert, cedar, acacia, myrtle, olive, cypress, fir, and pine. And finally, verse 20, I am doing this so that all who see this miracle will understand what it means, that it is I, the Lord, who has done this, the Holy One of Israel who created it. God will bring miracles to happen in our lives. You know that? He will. And his miracles are often done for one reason, and that is to prove who he is. He alone is God, and he alone is able to provide for all of our needs. Whether we live in a desert or on a mountaintop, he's there for us. Amen. Let's pray. God, thank you for your blessings. Thank you that you're a God of provision who cares about your people today. Thank you that you care about me, that you care about those that are watching this devotion this morning. Thank you, Lord, for these words that we find in Isaiah 41, 17 through 20, that remind us that you're a God who takes care of your people, your children, which includes us. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, all right, let's look real quick at who is on Mary Courtney and Rose in Belize and Christine RJ in Georgia, Alfredo, Karen Hahn, 
Sylvia and Ed Sweeten this morning. There's Brian. Good morning, Brian. And there's Ron G. And there's Ivy and Swanee this morning. And D. Roush. And let's see, is that the bottom of the list? Yes. And Sylvia says, Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's everybody I'm seeing right now. Now let's look at our Friday socks. Because we're not going to forget about the socks. Uh, I don't know for sure what kind of socks these are. Whoops. Continue. Okay. Hang on. Let me turn the camera. Now these socks are a little bit different. There's V. Duffy who tuned in. Now they have a pineapple and bananas. Whoops. Didn't like me rotating it. Bananas and a pineapple. And then there's your fruit smoothie right there. See, that's all upside down. And what the rest of the sock has on it, I'm not sure. I think these are birds that are flying. And, and there's cactus. That green th thing there, that's cactus. So those are the socks, friends. They're kind of abstract a little bit. There's my green toe. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Maybe strawberry, Sylvia says, or pink pineapple. And Rose says they're cute and, you know, healthy. Drinking a fruit smoothie, that, that's pretty healthy. All right, guys, thanks for being with me. God bless you. Have an awesome weekend. Sunday should find you in church, friend. God bless. Bye-bye.